And welcome back. John Schaefer joins us now for this week's Dollars and Cents segment. <clears throat> First of all, thank you very much for coming in. Do appreciate it. Thank you. Now, we're going to talk uh, about a f you know some of the types of things that can affect your insurance premium. So there are a few things out there. Talk, Correct. talk to me a little bit. Let's let's go with the first and more most obvious when you're when you're driving is your car. Right. Yeah, your car really affects the rates. So if you look at what type of car you drive, um, if you've got a luxury SUV or a sports car like a BMW, um, you're going to pay a little higher in insurance versus if you had a family sedan like a Chevy Cobalt. Mm -hmm. um, what really affects those rates is every vehicle has a symbol um, on it, and the higher the symbol, the more expensive the insurance is. And that basically plays off of you know, uh, the crash rating on it, uh, the availability of the parts. Yeah. So you're going to pay more for a BMW versus a Chevy Cobalt. <laughs> is it is it also, I mean, you, you hear you're going to pay more for a car that gets stolen more? Mm, yep, yeah, correct. That's another thing, you know. We've, uh, and, you know, with this day and age, there's a lot of stolen vehicles. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I would imagine also they're going to look at your track record. Uh, right. Uh, you know, what, what kind of driver you are. Driving habits. That's another big thing. So as you look at when we do our insurance, um, if you've got tickets, you know, and you've had some crashes, um, you know, obviously a bad driving record, you're pay a higher insurance rate versus a guy who doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget too, um, tickets and accidents usually stays on your record for most insurance companies for five years. So that doesn't roll off till after five years after those accidents. Yeah, and, and of course age has a factor Correct. You know, as, yep. as far as rates are concerned. And so for an example, like an 18 year old, if he's got a luxury BMW, he's gonna pay a lot more insurance versus a guy in his 40s for that same BMW. You're right. Uh, one thing else that plays off that, everyone has an insurance score, just like a credit score. So they look at, you know, based on that insurance score, your payment history, longevity with a company, like how long you've been with that insurance company, that helps. Mm -hmm. um, also, what takes in consideration with that is just basically your tickets and accidents, you know, sure. that on that insurance score. Are there apps out there, uh, you know, available that can keep track of these sorts of things? Correct. Uh, there's several apps. Uh, mostly every company that we represent has apps too. Uh -huh. There's actually 50 companies that have driving apps right now, and it's also the top 10 companies and insurance have them too. Those monitoring apps, if you're a good driver, you're going to get a better insurance rate. Right. If you're a bad driver, it could go up with some companies. Kind of makes um, sense. But they track you know, how much you drive, yeah. what time of day you drive. Um, usually if you drive between 12 a.m. and 5 a.m., you're going to be a higher rate. Um, also, your braking and acceleration. So if you accelerate real hard, you're going to get, it's obviously going to track you for that. But that's one way to save money that we look at. Right. Um, because most people drive normal and, and work eight to five or whatever and, and home at night, you know, mm -hmm. by nine o'clock or whatever. Uh, you're going to get a better insurance rate by doing those driving apps. Well, and of course, one thing that you can see immediately is what type of coverage you want, deductibles you choose, things like that. Correct. Yep. Another way to save money on your insurance, too, is every three years just going out and reassessing and basically reshopping your insurance. And that's why we like to tell people, hey, give us a call. We'd like to shop your insurance. And also, things may have changed in your life. You may have gotten married. Um, I had one guy I did a quote on, and his, his wife lived with him, but she had an insurance company with her car, and he had one on his. And I'm like, well, let's get them together because you get, you know, you're going to get a multi-car discount, sure. the married discount. Mm -hmm. um, some people don't think about that when they, they first get together and, you know, like, oh, you've had your insurance and I've had mine. Now, are things changing or is there a difference male-female driver? No, it's, I mean, that's, that's a, you know, they're about the same. You know, a lot of it depends on that insurance score. Right. And also just, you know, basically not having tickets and accidents. That's going to help you get the better rate. Now, of course, you know, you're at the Resource Center. What Correct. companies do you represent there? So we've got a few. I know that I think they're going to pop up on the screen there. Um, you know, we've got Safeco, Auto Owners, Progressive, Travelers, um, Nationwide. Um, and so those will pop up there on the screen there. Yeah, yeah. And so it's, it's really easy. That's part of what you do is you're, it, I don't know if it's the right term, but like a clearinghouse. You can find the best deal for people Correct. at the Resource Center. So what we do is, um, you know, give us a call. We actually, you know, shop your insurance and get you the best rate that's out there. Uh, one thing you can always do is it helps your insurance rate when you call us is do a future effective discount. So usually if we quote it 14 days out, you get a better rate. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you calling. Tell them the number. Tell them how to get yeah. in touch if they want more information okay. from the Resource so, Center. Uh, 
don't forget the resource center insurance. We also do financial planning and we mm -hmm. also do estate planning as well as insurance. Give us a call at the resource center insurance at 417-882-1800. All right. Some good advice and you can get more good advice. Just look them up. Thank Pretty you. simple. Thanks for being here. All right. Up next, we have another Ozarks everyday fitness for you guys. <laughs> Who knows what Cammy is up to this time? We'll be right back.